So yesterday we have seen a topic called as code division multiple axis CDMA, or we can also call it as code division multiplexing. Okay. So in that, uh, the main advantage of having uh, this code division multiple axis CDMA is more number of users can be accessing the satellite 24 by 7. Okay. And they will be having a huge uh, bandwidth or a channel available. But the problem is whenever there are more users, okay, utilizing that particular channel or a bandwidth uh, with respect to that particular satellite, we have several problems like interference kind of thing or a cross off kind of thing. Okay. So for that in code division, multiple axis, okay. They have introduced a topic called as spec spectrum technology in which they have introduced a code kind of thing that code. We are considering it as PN code or pseudo noise code. This is the concept we have seen whenever the two codes at the transmitting end as well as the receiving end matches. Whenever the two codes at the transmitting end as well as the receiving end matches, okay, the communication will be done, okay, successfully. This is what we have seen, okay. So in today's class, we are going to see the same concept, spread spectrum technology, and how uh, that particular block diagram will be simple topic okay and uh, it's very easy to understand also so today's topic is sped spectrum transmission and reception the same uh, concept which you have seen in the yesterday cdma okay so this is a modulated technique so it is a modulated technique in which the transmitted bandwidth is larger than the information signal bandwidth okay so whenever you are trying to send some signal. Okay. Sending some signals means we are trying to send some data with that particular microwave signal, right? Or some electromagnetic waves. Okay. So if at all you are using a sped spectrum in transmission or reception of the signal, whatever the signal, the whatever the modulated signal you send or transmit, okay, the bandwidth of that particular modulated signal will be larger because it will spread that particular data or the modulated signal which you have sent in several directions such that multiple users can access that particular data. For example, the bandwidth B, suppose B and a bandwidth name, okay, which we have passed that particular bandwidth B through sped spectrum technology. Okay, sped spectrum technology used as a bandwidth B, we are trying to. Uh, uh, send some signal through that. Okay. So if at all we are using a sped spectrum technology to send that particular data through a bandwidth B, okay, it becomes large. Okay. And it spreads that particular spectrum into several directions or it spreads that particular bandwidth into several directions such that multiple users can access them. So the bandwidth B, which was just a bandwidth B, after passing through the sped spectrum says, uh, spectrum transmission or the reception technique, it has become BSS. Okay, BSS is nothing but um, bandwidth with with respect to sped spectrum. Okay, so what's happening? The modulated signal we are trying, which we are trying to transmit, whenever it is transmitted to a sped spectrum technique. Okay, so it will be that particular modulated signal will be spread into several uh, uh directions or a several bit such that multiple users can access that okay so uh according to the explanation what we have seen till now so more users can access the bandwidth as well as data okay main concept L, okay now this sped spectrum technique is utilized in code division multiplexing or code division multiple axis as per the yesterday's topic we have seen okay compared to tdma FDMA, okay, and uh, CDMA, all these things, especially CDMA, code division multiple axis or code division multiplexing uses this particular sped spectrum technique where our modulator spectrum can be, okay, which is getting transmitted can be widespread such that multiple users can use this particular uh, data, okay. Now, whenever multiple users try to access this particular data, 
we have already seen in the yesterday's topic what is the problem arises it can be a crosstalk or it can be interference of the signals there are several problems which we are arising so for that we have kept a concept called pn code okay at the transmitting end as well as the receiving end there will be code whenever you are trying to transmit some signal or receive such signal okay both transmitting end as well as the receiving end will see whether that particular code will be matching or not okay if at all the code at the transmitting end as well as the receiving end matches then only communication uh, will be done successfully okay now let's see the basic block diagram of this particular sped spectrum okay now this is the basic block diagram of a sped spectrum in google there are lots of varieties of block diagrams okay mere edaina consider cheskochu okay so if you see here this block diagram consists of an input data channel encoder modulator pseudo noise generator okay pseudo noise is nothing but okay pn code sped spectrum technique use chese da code kada okay pn code is nothing but pseudo noise gen uh, code okay so we have a pseudo noise generator okay from this the signal will be transmitted into uh, free air through a channel okay some channel okay now this whole concept this whole concept will be divided into two parts okay this is the transmitting end and this is the receiving end okay now whenever the signal reaches the receiver end there will be a demodulator and again channel decoder again here also there will be one pseudo noise generator okay now at the receiver end there will be an output data split that into two you can see one transmitting block diagram as well as receiving block diagram okay now let's see according to the concept how it works where is this see now let's consider only the transmitting part okay now what we need to do whenever you are transmitting any kind of signal the main purpose of transmitting the signal means you are adding some data to that particular signal and you are modulating that particular signal and you are transmitting it wirelessly okay now according to our concept we need to add some pseudo noise code also okay oka code ni kuda manam edaithe signal ni pampisthunnamo along with that uh, signal we need to add our code also and transmit to that particular uh, receiving end such that the receiver end compares the pseudo code okay uh, and if it matches then only it allows or accepts that particular signal now what happens here the input data whatever you want to send okay will be first encoded okay so you might have already studied the difference between encoder and decoder okay it's a kind of adding security for that okay so input data ni first it will encode then this encoded signal will be modulated okay modulating means modulating or combining the signal we can also in simple terms we can also consider it as combining a several signals or mixing of several signals here what's happening the encoded signal goes to the modulator and here at the modulator end okay uh, we using a pseudo noise generator oka code ni generate cheyali whenever you are sending each and every signal new signal okay a pseudo noise generator is generates a unique code okay and this unique code will be added with this particular encoded signal in the place of modulator modulate the gra signal em avutundante encode aina signal tho paatu pseudo noise generate chesina unique code kuda add up ayipothu okay add ayipoyi okay this will be transmitted using some channel wirelessly now this signal what we have sent here has has a modulated signal with our data whichever we want to send along with an unique code which we are considering it as pseudo noise code okay now here also this receiver part okay 
this receiver part will be waiting for this particular transmitting signal. If you have to transmit this signal, this will be waiting. Okay. Now, this pseudo noise also generates a code. Okay. This is also a code generate this code. Okay. This code is nothing but same as the code which is generated by the transmitting end. Okay. Because this receiver is always waiting for its transmitter to send some signal. So receiver is already always ready to receive the signal from which the transmitter it is allocated. So this is the pseudo code generate. Same code will be generated by this receiver block diagram. And here this code will be given to this demodulator. Now what happens is as soon as the signal comes from the transmitting end, and goes to this particular receiver end here a the transmitted signal that gets demodulated okay demodulator means we are stay separating all the signals okay the signal data or any kind of code is there all these things will be separated here okay so separate jason up what it happens there will be some data whichever we want to transmit there will be a signal through which we have taken the help to transmit from far away distance and there will be a code which was generated at the transmitting end okay now this transmitting end code will be compared with the pseudo noise generator of the receiver code okay now receiver code is generated in the transmitter and the grade the code generator uh, expect just the signal our code ke match laga, generate just the receiver code okay now what it does it compares the transmitter code as well as the its code which is, is generated okay now if at all the transmitted code and the the code which this receiver generated matches okay after demodulation okay so it accepts the code or it accepts the signal and that particular signal will be given to the decoder. Okay. Here lo chala rakala signals untai. Okay. Mari a signal ni this call and receiver ki del studi ante. Whenever this particular pseudo noise generator which generates a code, a code ki transmitter side ninchi ochina signal lo inch ochina code match aitene, it will accept. Otherwise, it will just reject that particular signal. Otherwise, it will not take. Okay. Now, if at all the signal which is coming from the transmitter end, okay, has a code, PN code, should match this particular generated code. If at all it is matched, then only it, it will go for decoding end. Here the de decoder decodes that particular data and a pure original form of data is obtained at the output end. This is how the particular, uh, this is how the particular uh, concept of spectrum technique works. Mm -hmm.